Welcome back to the Daily Mastermind. George Wright the third here. I hope you're having a great day. I'm back with your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and education. I hope you're having a great day today. And um, guess what today is? Today is Troy Wright's birthday. For those of you that don't know, Troy's my brother. He has worked with the Daily Mastermind since the inception. And he puts together the quotes every day with those 4K pics and has them on our social media channels. And so I want to make sure I wish him a happy birthday. I hope he's having a great day. And if you get the chance, you can wish him a happy birthday as well. It's Troy Wright. Anyway, I want to go start with the quote of the day, the quote of the day in the Daily Mastermind mobile app is a Chinese proverb, and it is this one. I want you to listen to this. I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. Let me say that again for you. I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. I love that proverb because it really breaks down the fact that so many of us look and see and talk about things, but when you do them, that's when you truly learn. That's when you truly learn and understand what is going to be happening to help you with your life. So today, I want to talk to you about a topic that is probably one of the biggest topics that I have been asked about um, in in the time I've been doing the Daily Mastermind, and that is, how do I get motivated? And I don't mean motivation uh, for just motivation's sake, I mean, how do you get motivated when you're tired? How do you, you know, do you ever feel like you're just run down, you're tired, you're exhausted, you just don't feel like doing it, or you have days that just blend together because you're like, man, I don't even know where the day or the time has gone, um, especially this last year. So I want to talk to you about how to get motivated when you feel tired, because motivation is just an emotion. Motivation is just something that comes and goes. And it's got to, at some point in your life, be replaced by more discipline. That's why I'm a big proponent of daily rituals. But you have to learn how to create motivation. See, so many of us try to avoid getting tired. We try to avoid getting overwhelmed. And that's just that's just part of life. Getting overwhelmed and, and tired is going to be part of every entrepreneur and um, you know thought creator's life, period. So successful people... Successful people just learn to create motivation because they get tired just like everyone else, right? We all get tired. And that's one of the reasons one of our prosperity principles is I act in spite of my mood. Because guess what? You got to do it anyway. You've got to move forward anyway. And if you're a parent or if you're a business owner or you have relationships, you realize that sometimes you do things you don't, you don't feel like doing. But have no fear. I have a few suggestions for you <laughs> based on my own experience because I get tired quite a bit with my schedule. Um, so I have seven different ideas that I kind of wrote down. I pu- pulled some ideas from some articles I, I've read recently as well as my own life. And so hopefully this will help you. Number one, remind yourself of your vision. I talk all the time about this. Your, your past and your experiences, your circumstances, they're going to drain your energy. But when you have a clear, exciting Um, you know, crystal clear vision. Even if you don't know how you're going to get there, you know where you want to go and you start to look at that, touch it, feel it, experience it, pictures. That will help you to get re-motivated. So get really clear and remind yourself of your vision. That's why I talk about putting it on your cell phone screen or putting pictures on your refrigerator, your mirror in your bathroom or in your car. You're in your car or on your phone all the time. Have reminders there that'll motivate you. That's a big one. Number two, time blocking and taking breaks. Your schedule in your day, I get that you want it to be productive, you want it to be very effective, but like Brennan Bouchard talks about, when you're, if you block your time and when you're done with a task, you stop and you reset your intention, you, you take a break, you refocus on the next task, you're going to have more motivation and more energy. Time blocking and taking breaks is going to be a key factor. Trust me when I say working an 8-hour, 10-hour, 12-hour day is not going to be productive if you don't factor in breaks. And I try to go every 60 to 90 minutes max uh, on a task and then cut yourself off and go to the next one. So taking breaks. Number three, I know it's going to probably su- surprise some of you and, and, and you don't like the idea of it, but power naps. Taking a nap. Um, research has shown that if you take a nap in the afternoon, somewhere between 15 to 30 minutes, no, no more than 30 minutes for sure. There's a lot of great articles on WebMD for this. 
that you will re-energize yourself for the day. I mean, there's not going to be any benefit to you working a fourth, fifth, sixth, eighth, tenth, twelfth hour in your day if you're doing it halfway. You've got to be productive. LeBron James, he did a, a meditation um uh, what do you call it, like audio program for Calm, which is the meditation app that I listen to once in a while, Calm. Um, and LeBron James talks about doing naps every single day. In fact, if he doesn't get his nap, it's a big kink to his schedule. Some of the most successful people out there, some of the most well-known people take naps. So that's another one. Number four, um, and this is really important if you're working on a big project or you're really on a side hustle or a business, break your big overwhelming tasks down into a smaller chunk because many wins, small successes, easier, simple steps are much, much, much easier to get motivated for. And as you create those little successes, you'll get motivated. So break a big, huge task or a big goal down into small tasks, and that'll help to give you more motivation. Number five, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save number five for last. Um, the next one I wanna suggest is change your environment. Change your environment. If you change your environment, because what you are around is going to create the energy that you have and if you're in a draining environment and it's and it's it's just dull or it's mundane or it's not moving have you ever been around a work environment where there's a lot of people with a lot of energy you get motivated you get more energy when you're by yourself which is what happens a lot right now you're going to have low energy so sometimes you've got to just get around a different environment what do you have around you that's going to motivate you what do you have around you that's going to get your energy levels up change your environment move around get a new environment if it's not helping you. You have control over where you are going to be for the most part. The next suggestion I have is just move. Activity is absolutely the key because motion creates emotion, creates energy. Sometimes if you're feeling just a little drained, a little down, a little tired, stand up, go for a walk. Stand up, move around. A lot of times this is why you'll see me when I'm on the phone doing calls, I'm walking around while I'm doing a phone call. I've got a headset, but you could take your phone and just walk around and do a call. You know, your motion will create energy which will get you motivated. And then finally, this was number five, but I'm going to call it number seven, daily rituals. Daily rituals because discipline will take over when your motivation fails. Physical exercise, meditation, journaling. Sometimes when you journal, you're going to give yourself um, those emotions and feelings that are going to re-energize you and you're going to realize it's not just about me, it's about others that I'm trying to help. Um, so whether it's reading or meditation or physical exercise or affirmations or whatever it is, your daily rituals are going to help you to sustain your energy and create motivation by far. That's the most important one that I can't overemphasize enough. So let me just give you a reminder on this. If you are feeling tired, if you're feeling low on energy and you want to create more motivation, remind yourself of your vision. Take more breaks. Maybe take some power naps. Take those big tasks and break them into smaller, smaller tasks. Change your environment. Just start moving and make sure that you stay key with your daily rituals. Avoid the emotional drains of, of not having focus. You know, if you do not have a plan, you're going to have a hard time keeping motivated. So create that plan, create some clarity. And here's what I want you to do for me. This is the last thought I want to leave you with. I'd like you to contact me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a little challenge here. If you're learning some stuff from the podcast or it's helping you, then you need to act on it. I want you to contact me, and you can do it one of two ways. You can either do it at The Daily Mastermind on Instagram. You can DM me, or just send me a personal email. Send it to george at g3worldwide, g, the number three, worldwide.com. So contact me at The Daily Mastermind or george at g3worldwide.com, and I want you to let me know what your biggest challenges that you're facing right now. I want to know what the biggest challenge is that's holding you back. Is it energy? Is it motivation? Is it a knowledge? Is it a skill set? Is it marketing? Is it sales? I want you to tell me what your biggest challenge is. And my commitment to you is that we'll put some episodes together, some interviews, some, some access to that knowledge. Let me be the source of information that you need to be able to take your life to the next level. I appreciate you listening to me today. I hope that gives you some ideas on motivation and energy in your life. And uh, look forward to talking with you a little bit more tomorrow. This is uh, The Daily Mastermind, and my name is George Wright III. Have an amazing day.